So David Morrell gets the decision win over Hot Rod in what was proven to be a challenging fight for David Morrell, man. Let's get into that. So David Morrell, he gets the decision win at his very first fight at 175 pounds against Hot Rod, man. Um, I don't even try to say his last name because I could never pronounce that dude's last name. So David Morrell, um, he moves up to 175, man. And according to him and, you know, most people, he's chasing David Benavidez because he also moved up to 175 pounds. He moved up uh, in... Uh, was it last month or two he had a fight it was the last month he fought um Vostick and he got a decision win so you know Morrell is touted as this you know he they they start they were they're trying to build they was trying maybe they still are but they were trying to build him up like this boogeyman I was telling everybody though and I'm like yo bro he's not gonna beat Benavidez man even at 168 I don't see what everybody else saw dude I just don't I, I don't see where everybody is saying that he beats Benavidez. I just, I just, I don't agree with that. At 175, he's definitely, he still don't beat him. I think if there was a fight at 175, David Benavidez would whoop him by decision. Um, he looked, he looked good the first few rounds of the fight, David Morrell. Hot Rod with his style, um, always moving, very experienced. He started to cause problems for uh, Morrell. Morrell just didn't know. It was almost like he was stuck. He was stuck in one in one dimension. He didn't know what to really do. Um, he was getting popped with the jab. His head was, you know, snapping back. His power didn't carry. The main thing, the main thing here, that his power didn't carry. Hot Rod had said. He think he could deal before the fight. He said, "I can deal with um, the power of David Morrell. I was in there with, um, with Better B. Ever, and I dealt with his power up until, you know, the inevitable, <laughs> you know. But he was right. He was right. Now, you know, we've been seeing these dudes move up in weight lately, man. Um, David Benavidez, David Morrell, these two in particular, and these dudes was monsters at 168." And they move up to somewhere where they're close to their natural weight, and it's uh, almost like their pop just left them in the other division. Uh, you could say the same for Canelo, too. Canelo Alvarez, David Morrell, and David Benavidez, uh, their power ain't carry up to 175. And I know what y'all gonna say. Well, Canelo knocked out, um, geez, what's his name, man? C Canelo knocked out uh, Sergey Kovalev. I, I spoke about that already. I, I think it was something a little funny style with that fight. I think that was a shady fight. The knockout just didn't look authentic to me. I'm going to stand by that. It just didn't It didn't look right to me, bro. It just looked real strange. He knocks out... He knocks out... Um, he knocks out Sergey Kovalev. Then he gets in the ring with, with Beevil and couldn't knock Beevil out. I, I just I just found that a little a little strange. And Beaver was there. It's not like Beaver was moving around. He was moving around, but Canelo Canelo was right there. He was punching on Beaver. Couldn't get Beaver out of it. He couldn't knock him out flush like that. I just thought it was a little strange. I know every every fight is different. I still that fight just didn't, it didn't sit right with me, man. It just was the, the entire thing just didn't sit right with me, man. Because Kovalev Jab was doing his thing until, up until it just didn't seem right, man. Just out of nowhere. You know, Kovalev got a good chin, bro. You know, um, but I, I I just found that that fight just was a little strange to me, man. But anyway, these dudes' power ain't really carrying up to 175. You're not going to get that with every, you know, some fighters can do it, some can't. Uh, and, yeah, that's this that's his first fight in the division. You know, my indicator, one of a fighter's power carries, it's not always really a knockout that really, it's not because they didn't get a knockout. It's like what their punches were doing to the other fighter. Like if you see them punching the dude and, and he's punching, he's giving, he's throwing everything into this person and this person ain't moving. He ain't phased by none of his punches. Um, 
that's the indicator to me that their power ain't cra ain't carrying, bro. And and then I see after the fight how they look, and they look just like they never was in a fight. That's telling me a whole lot. As far as I'm concerned, uh, David Morrell, man, he got a lot of work to do too, man. He um he definitely does. Uh, he took he took shots well from um from Hot Rod. You know, Hot Rod wasn't planting his feet as much, but when he was planting his feet, he was planting his feet. He was catching them with some good shots. Morrell, he never looked like he was really that flustered. There was one point in the fight, though, it may have looked like Hot Rod did crack him and it kind of buckled him a little bit. I did notice. I forgot what round it was in. So that, I mean, it's boxing, man. I don't mean he has a, a chin problem or nothing like that. It's, it's a new division. You know, he's just um, he's stepping in and he's just getting under himself, you know. So I, I get it. But... Uh, he he was throwing everything at this dude, and it didn't seem like it was really doing much to him. To me, it didn't. It didn't really seem like none of his punches were really that effective. Um, so, uh, I, hey, look, give it like another two fights at 175, and then we can see. It's like with Tio, same thing. You know, he gets in the division. He got the. He struggled to get that that knockout uh, over Pedro Campo. You know, you see. But at 135, he's down there destroying dudes, you know, and you get closer to his weight, dude is already up there and dude's already big. He can't, it's not, it's like he's not really, he's not getting the knockouts no more. Um, we might be seeing the same thing happen with Benavidez and Morrell. We might be seeing something like that. We'll see in, these, in, in both David Benavidez and uh, David Morrell's next, next couple of fights, we'll see. What they do when it comes to putting damage on these fighters at 175, I just don't think it's gonna happen, man. I think that's why you hear Benavidez talking about going back to 168 and stuff. That's why I heard that he was he was thinking about doing. Um, but I think he should fight David Morrell. That would be a good fight. But he's waiting on the the winner, I guess. Of um, he wants to fight the winner now of Dimitri Bivol and uh, Arthur Bedabiev. I don't think Benavidez beat either one of them, man. For different reasons, he doesn't outbox Bevel, and I don't, and I definitely don't think he knocks out better Bev. I think he loses both of those fights. <clears throat> and as far as David Morrell, he definitely ain't beating no Bevel. Definitely ain't beating Bevel. Uh, Benavidez got a better chance of beating Bevel than uh, David Morrell. Let's not even talk about better Bev. I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> you know, but um. Nonetheless, he got the win. Was next for David Morrell. He said he wants Benavidez next. Um, but uh, we'll see. He said because he's 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 touted as the boogeyman, so he wants to fight the person as a boogeyman. But he said he'll take anybody. So we'll see what's next for David Morrell. Uh, he got some sharpening up to do at 175. Um, maybe I'm all the way wrong about his power, but maybe. You know, he'll settle in a little bit. So maybe some fighters take a little longer to get acclimated. Maybe that's what it is. But we shall see. But this dude, Hot Rock, a fight, man. He could box. And he was boxing circles around uh, David Morrell. Boxers give people problems, man. Boxers give problems to people, dude. Most of the time, dudes that can box, they give problems. Um, we've seen that. This most of this fight card, well, a few fights showed that and proved that, you know. But shout out to David Morrell, warrior, nonetheless, man. We'll see what's next for him. Let me know what y'all think, man. It's your boy, it's your boy, uh, Revel Life Boxing, and I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. And I'm off this.